Hello guys, this is the second video in the mini-series about recently released Laravel 11.23 version, which contains new features introduced during Laracon US 2024, and this was introduced as one pull request in the framework, which I will link to in the description below. And today's topic is cache flexible based on defer. We talked about defer in the previous video, and if you haven't watched that, I will also link that in the description below. But basically, the example is this. New feature, cache flexible. So typically, how we use cache is something like cache remember. Then you specify the time for which to remember the cache values, and that's it. Now, what flexible does is refreshes the cache in the background with defer, which means that if you have cache remember, it is remembered for one hour, for example, or one minute, and then the next user that comes the first after that one hour gets that query executed. And that query may be very massive in terms of performance, server load. So one unlucky user has to wait for 10 seconds or a few seconds more than the others. So to avoid that issue, we can revalidate the cache somewhere in the background. And that in the background is possible now with defer feature that allows to execute some code after the response is sent to the browser. So what happens with flexible? Let me explain the parameters. This is a typical cache key. These are the parameters of time in seconds, which would cause the defer revalidation of the cache to happen. Sounds complicated, so let's get practical. So if the second request of the second user happens within first five seconds, then the response is returned from the cache and this isn't executed. But if it happens between five and 10 seconds, then there is a call to revalidate the cache, but in the background with defer function. So the third user who comes afterwards then again gets the data from cached but refreshed cache. Let me demonstrate in practice. So let's load our dashboard page for the first time. And as you can see, there are eight queries insert into cache, which is the database. And now I intentionally made a pause of around 15 seconds. I refresh and there's no cache involved. But if I refresh now, as you can see, only select from cache and five queries and one model instead of 100. Again, we made some pause, we refresh again, and we have eight queries again. But now in five seconds, for example, we have five queries, again, five queries, but as you can see, the data is refreshed. There's different sequence of order, which means the cache was revalidated somewhere in the background and the user didn't even see that. So that's kind of the whole magic of that new thing. And under the hood, if we click that cache flexible, we can scroll down that function and at the very end, we can see defer. There is a check if there is a defer helper, which means it is Laravel 11.23 or later, then we call that defer, otherwise we refresh immediately. If we take a look at the documentation of that new feature, it is called not cache flexible, but stale while revalidate. It's a complex naming because that concept is outside of Laravel. It's how cache may work in other languages or frameworks. Laravel has just adopted that same concept. What do you think? Will you use it in your projects? And did you ever had any issue that that unlucky one user had very slow page load and were complaining about the performance? Maybe it's a small issue that we can kind of neglect but for the overall better user experience for all users, I think it's a great addition to the framework. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.